Hello everyone. We are going to discuss about morphology and anatomy of earthworm. And this topic is coming under plus one zoology chapter, structural organization in animals. So I'm going to the topic. First of all, I'm taking the morphology of earthworm. Okay. The common Indian earthworms are Ferritima and Lumbricus. Then I'm taking the body of earthworm. The, uh, the body of earthworm is made up of different compartments. We can call it as metamers. What is that? Metamers. Okay. And there will be 100 to 120 metamers or compartments in a single earthworm. I am taking the first compartment. This first compartment or first segment or first metamer is called peristomium. What is that? Peristomium. And this peristomium also known as buccal segment. Mouth will open to the first segment that is into the peristomium or buccal segment. And another important structure is prostomium. Prostomium is not a compartment, it is a sensory part. So remember the first name of first metamer or first compartment is peristomium and the sensory structure is prostomium or sensory. It is not a compartment. Okay, then I am coming to another structure. This is called clitellum. Very important. What is clitellum? Clitellum is a dark band of glandular tissue and which is found in between or on 14 to 16 segments of segments of the body. Okay, and uh, this clitellum will secrete some something and we will discuss later about that. Also, we can see some other structure that is called a ceta. Ceta is very important. We can see ceta on all segments of body except first, last and clitellum. Clitellum means clitellar segments like 14 to 16 segments. And what is the function of ceta? Ceta is helping for locomotion. Okay. And also we, you can see some other structure like dorsal poles. Dorsal poles. So I am mentioning the most important structures in earthworm. The one is peristomium, second prostomium, third one clitellum and fourth one ceta. These are the most important points. Okay. Then what do you mean by dorsal view? Actually here we took dorsal view. What do you mean by dorsal view? Which means the view from upper side. Ventral view means the view from lower side. Okay. Next I am taking the ventral view of earthworm. Here the important structures are female genital pore and male genital pore. You can see a single female genital pore on 14th segment, right? And also there will be a pair of male genital pores on 18th segment. So I am repeating female genital pore is on 14th segment. Male genital pore is on 18th segment. Female genital pore is single but male genital pore is double. Okay. And this is the these are the most important structures. And one more structure, copulatory papillae. You can see a uh, two pairs of copulatory, copulatory papillae on 17th and 19th. On 17th, one pair and 19th, another pair. So total, four. Another structure is spermatical aperture. You can see spermatical aperture between 5th to 9th segments. Which means between 5 and 6, one pair. Between 6 and 7, another pair. Between 7 and 8, third pair. Between 8 and 9th, fourth pair. Like this. Between 5 and 6, you can see one pair. Between 6 and 7, you can see another pair. Like this, there will be four pairs of spermatical aperture. Okay. And we will discuss what is the, what are the functions of these uh, spermatical apertures on later. Okay, then I am taking the anatomy of earthworm. Okay, next I am taking the layers of uh, the layers around the body in earthworm. The outermost layer will be cuticle. Okay, and the innermost will be coelomic epithelium. Okay, so the outermost the out, outermost one will be cuticle. Innermost to that, there will be inner to cuticle, we can see epidermis, then circular muscle, longitudinal muscle and finally coelomic epithelium and this will be the innermost layer. Okay, next I am taking the different compartments present in alimentary canal. You know, as we know, there will be mouth like in our human body, 
there will be mouth buccal cavity pharynx esophagus gizzard and this gizzard is absent in humans right and this gizzard is a characteristic features of earthworm remember that then gizzard stomach and intestine next i am taking the segments okay first i am taking the buccal cavity in ncrt they mentioned that buccal cavity is present from first to third segment it is very important very important okay and what about esophagus esophagus present from five to seven segments fifth to seventh segment what about gizzard eighth to ninth segment stomach will be from ninth to 14th segment and the intestine will be like 15 to last segment important okay next i'm taking another two structures one is intestinal cica another one is diflosol intestinal cica is present on 26th segment and which is pair present as one pair which means two what about diflosol Diflosol is an internal median fold of dorsal wall. And what is the function of Diflosol which will increase absorption area on intestine and which is present after 26th, uh, which is present after 26th segment but except last 23rd to 25th segments. Remember that. Okay, next I am taking the blood vascular system present in earthworm. They have closed circulatory system. It is very important. They have closed circulatory system and their circulatory system is comprised of vessels, capillaries and heart. Okay, and another important structure is blood glands and this blood glands will produce blood cells and hemoglobin. And this blood glands present on 4th, 5th and 6th segments. Okay. Next time I am taking the respiration. The respiratory exchange is through moist body surface. It is very important. The respiratory exchange is taking place through moist body surface. Okay. Next time I am taking the excretory system. Excretory organ in, uh, in earthworm is in nephridia. And this classification of nephridia is very important. The nephridia can be divided into three types. Septal nephridia, integumentary nephridia and pharyngeal nephridia. The septal nephridia is present on both sides of intersegmental septa. What is intersegmental septa? For example, if I am taking a compartment like this, remember, uh, you imagine this is these are two compartments, right? These two compartments are, uh, and uh, this barrier between these two compartments is called a septa. And uh, septal nephridia will be present on either side of this septa that is called a septal nephridia 